Hey guys, it's Lisa from 2CreatorWebsite.com. My voice is back. Almost. It's still cracking a little bit, so if I sound funny sometimes, that's what's going on. But I want to thank you guys personally, though, for all of your kind words and emails. You guys rock. I appreciate your thoughtfulness. So in this video, I'm going to appease some of my followers who've been asking me to do a video or a blog post on plugins that I use. Um, I use a lot of plugins, like 30 or 40 of them. So I'm not going to go through them all, but I'm going to highlight some of my favorites in this video. So hope you enjoy. Let's get started. I like the link within plugin because it shows relevant posts right below your current post. So the name of this post is titled tools to automate your social media promotion. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you will see it links to four and you can choose, I think four, five or six. So you can, uh, it will display four related posts. So as you can see, the four posts below here are related to social media. It reads the title of the post basically, and that's how it determines, you know, what's relevant. So if your titles are not very descriptive, then you may have some issues with relevancy. I've been using this plugin probably since I started using WordPress. I like it because it highlights your popular posts and it makes your, your blog look um, more trafficked. So even if your blog doesn't get a lot of comments, but you have maybe six to 10 posts that have like 30, 40 comments, you can highlight them using this plugin and it makes your blog look a lot more active. I think almost everybody uses this plugin. Um, it's cut and dry. It just puts this retweet button on your posts and it allows people to announce your blog post to their Twitter followers. And the plugin allows you to either put it on the left side, the right side. I think you can even put it at the bottom of the post if I'm not mistaken but it's pretty straightforward. But I like it because people tend to like to use it. So that's it. You got to have a Facebook like button on your blog. Everybody's on Facebook these days. So I put mine at the bottom because I figured after people are reading the page, then, then they would, you know, logically go to the like button. Now, one thing I noticed about this plugin, it seemed to slow my blog down. So that's another reason I wanted it on the bottom. Cause when I had it at the top, it seemed to make the page load a lot slower. So that's why I have it near. That's two reasons I have it near the bottom of the post. Okay. Next. Really simple captcha is important. If you want to keep spam bots off of your comment form. Now I'm sure this doesn't keep away all spam bots, but it seems to do a pretty good job. What it does is it adds this little captcha script. Wow, six people have liked my contact page? What in the world? Okay, anyway. <laughs> so it puts this little captcha key here. So in order for somebody to send mail, they have to type in whatever's here. So if this were a spam bot, obviously the spam bot wouldn't know what it is, so they wouldn't be able to get through. Now, I say most spam bots. I'm sure there's some spam bots that are still able to read it or whatever, but it does keep a lot of spam out of my blog. The WordPress database backup is probably my most important plugin because you got to back up your database. If you ever got hacked or something happened with your hosting account, you would want a backup of your database because it contains all of your posts and your comments. So I back up mine once a week. Now, if you blog a lot more frequently, you might want to do it more often, but you can set it to where it either sends you um, an email with the, with the database or it will publish a copy to um, or on your server, which I wouldn't really recommend that option because if a hacker were to get into your account, then your database would just be sitting right there. So I have it emailed to me. Um, some people could argue maybe that's not the best idea either, but hey, it's a risk that I take. So if nothing else, you definitely want to back up your database because it's important. Your commenters will probably like this plugin because it gives them a chance to show off their Twitter ID. So as you can see here, after the person's name, you see follow on Twitter and it has a link right to their Twitter page. The Chap Secure Login plugin basically encrypts your login 
as you log into your WordPress admin panel. So it basically just provides another layer of security for your WordPress admin panel. And this lock here indicates that it is installed. I actually have an additional layer of security on my WordPress, ad WordPress admin panel. I have password protected my WP admin directory at the hosting level. So even before I see this screen, I get another login that I have to log into. So it can never hurt to password protect some of your important directories like that. So if you want to learn how to do this, just Google password protect your WP admin directory. And there are tons of articles out there on how to do it. The Facebook plugin is pretty cut and dry. It's what it says, Facebook. You can highlight your Facebook fan page right here on your blog. And you can choose how many rows of people you want to show, and you can customize it to your liking. So it's pretty cool. It's a great way to draw in more fans. The subscribe to comments plugin basically adds this little checkbox below your comment area, and it allows your commenters to check it if they want to be notified of any follow-ups for this particular blog post. And as the admin, you can actually go in and see how many people and who is subscribed to what posts. Comment Love allows you to reward your blog commenters with a link to their last blog post. So what they do is they submit their RSS feed on your blog and it automatically grabs whatever their last blog post is when they're making the comment. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my list. As I said, it's not an exhaustive list of all the plugins I use. Some of them I use, I feel like everybody uses them, like ASCII Med or some type of anti-spam plugin. I use the all-in-one SEO plugin. That's the only SEO plugin I need. As you guys know, I don't think you need 20 SEO plugins. Um, so those, there's some other ones that I use that are fairly common, but the ones that I listed here are my favorites. So I just thought I'd give them a shout. Hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.